Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss with you how we can identify what kind of reversible inhibitor we are dealing with. Now, first of all, let's revise a little bit what we know about uh, inhibitors. So, for example, uh, we know that a competitive inhibitor competitive inhibitor only interacts with the free enzyme. It does not interact with the enzyme substrate complex. And we know that a competitive inhibitor does not change Vmax. It does change Km, it does change Vmax over Km, but a competitive inhibitor does not affect Vmax. Now, for an uncompetitive inhibitor, uncompetitive inhibitor, we know that the uncompetitive inhibitor only interacts with the enzyme substrate complex. It does not does not affect Vmax over Km. But, of course, it affects Vmax and it affects uh, Km, but not Vmax over Km. We know that a mixed inhibitor basically can change everything. It can affect Vmax. Well, it certainly will affect Vmax. It will affect Vmax over Km, and it can affect uh, Km depending on which component of the mixed inhibitor is stronger, whether it is the uncompetitive or the competitive. So how would this look like when we do some graphs? So let's say for a competitive inhibitor, competitive inhibitor, we can basically draw two different kinds of graphs. So this one here would be an Eddy Hofstad graph, uh, V over S versus V. And let's say we have something like that. So that would be minus the inhibitor. And we know that this point here in the Eddy Hofstad graph, this gives us Vmax. This point here gives us Vmax over Km. And this point, well, the gradient of this would gives, give us minus Km. Now, for the... We know for the... A uh, competitive inhibitor, we know that Vmax stays the same. So, oops, we would probably get something like this red line here, and that would be with the inhibitor. So, we see that Vmax stays the same, and this would be a typical Eddy Hofstad plot with and without inhibitor. Now let's have a look at how this would look like in a line weaver Berg plot. So in a line weaver Berg plot, we have 1 over V versus 1 over S, and we would probably get something like that. Uh, without the inhibitor, we remember this point here is 1 over Vmax. The gradient here is Km over Vmax. And this point here is minus 1 over Km. And if we are looking at um, at a competitive inhibitor, what we would see is something like that. So that is 
plus inhibitor. So here again, our Vmax or one over Vmax in this case would stay the same. And that would be a typical uh, plot for a line with a Berg competitive inhibitor. Now let's look at an uncompetitive inhibitor. First, let's do an A.D. Hofstay plot. So here V, V over S, and we have a straight line. This point here gives us V max, uh, uh, gives us V max over K M. And now with inhibitor, we know that an uncompetitive inhibitor does not change the Vmax over Km. So a typical plot would look like this. So that would be plus inhibitor. And we see that the Vmax over Km is not changed at all. And I probably should say that here this is this is without the inhibitor here, the, the, this black line. So Vmax over Km for the uncompetitive inhibitor is not changed. How would that look like in an eddy, uh, in, a, in a line with a Berg plot? So we have 1 over V versus 1 over S. Here, this is our plot without the inhibitor. We know that the gradient is Km over Vmax in this particular plot. So what we would see is when we plot an uncompetitive inhibitor, we would see a line like that, which is parallel. So that is plus inhibitor, which is parallel to this, to this black line here, because Vmax over Km or Km over Vmax is not changed, but obviously it would change Vmax or 1 over Vmax and it would change uh, Km or 1 over Km. Now let's look at a mixed inhibitor and for a mixed inhibitor uh, I just uh, draw an Eddy Hofstay plot in the case of this mixed inhibitor. We have V v over s and now this here would be minus the inhibitor and we said a mixed inhibitor would change uh, basically all parameters but we need to be careful when we look at what this mixed inhibitor does because we said we need to differentiate between which component is stronger, whether it is the uncompetitive or the competitive component. Now, first of all, let's draw something where the uncompetitive component is stronger. So we would probably get something like that. Uh, so that would be with inhibitor. And in this case, the uncompetitive component is stronger than the competitive component. How do I know that? Well, because this bit here, this point here, is closer to the uh, Vmax over Km point than this part here compared to this one. So here I am far away from, or these two points are far away from each other. And that would be typical for an uncompetitive inhibitor, whereas these two points are fairly close together, which is typical for an uh, uncompetitive inhibitor. Now, how would it look like for a competitive component being stronger? Now, this would be more like this. So in this case, competitive component is stronger than the uncompetitive one. How do I know that? Well, I know this because, again, this looks more like a competitive inhibitor. So competitive inhibitor wouldn't touch Vmax, so this would be close, whereas these two points are far away from each other. And 
Last but not least, how would an a non-competitive inhibitor look like. Now, a non-competitive inhibitor, we know that the only thing that doesn't change is Km. So, in this case, we would have probably something like that. So, this line here would be parallel to the without uh, inhibitor. So, that is plus inhibitor in this case and in this case this would be competitive component is the same as the uncompetitive component and unfortunately as I said earlier this also has the name of non-competitive inhibitor but I really don't like this uh, expression although it's very frequent in textbooks but I think it is very confusing and misleading so hopefully this clip shows you how you can tell the difference between the different uh, inhibitors when you draw your plots I hope this makes sense thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon